Follow the bouncing ball. Get the idea? Uh, probably not. We better discuss it. It all has to do with rubber. What happens when we stretch a rubber band? Rubber is made of very long molecules, polymers we call them. When we stretch it, the molecules align. When I let go, they go back coiled into their original configuration. Well, that's just what happens with these balls. They're made of different materials. This one, the red one, is uh, made of something called butadiene. The uh, green one is styrene butadiene, and this is what we call butyl rubber. When I drop this ball, obviously the bottom of the ball compresses when it hits the table. And that is exactly the same thing as what happens here. The molecules stretch, and when they rebound, that energy goes into the ball, so it bounces back up. Different types of rubber of course will behave differently depending on the molecules of which they are are made this one has less of a bounce and this one of course hardly bounces at all and that all has to do with the the way that those molecules stretch and contract but here's an interesting question that comes up i drop the blue ball and the red ball from the same height so they have the same potential energy the energy here went into the bouncing ball this one didn't bounce back. Where did the energy go? Energy cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed. It can be changed from one form to the other. In this case, it changed into heat. If we were to measure the temperature of that ball, it would now be somewhat warmer. So now you understand why it is so interesting to play with rubber balls and everything that we can learn from them. Oi, 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 oi.